Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. We are here in the Rothgarian Mountains. Last time around we had done a quest for the main quest line involving uh, Madura and Orsinium and Gortwalk. And now I thought we'd just go back to maybe doing some local quests for a faction uh, or just townspeople just to take a little bit of a break from the main quest line. Now the first thing that we, we probably want to do this episode is to head into an inn and rest for the night because we're pretty low on everything. Uh, so let's just try and rest overnight. It's only 5 p.m., so we'll probably need to rest longer than necessary to get everything back up, but we ought to do it regardless. So let's go find a room for the night here. <clears throat> okay. And I want to make sure I have no uh, enchanted items on here. Okay, I should remove this mark. This is the, the mark that we use to sell things, I believe. Yeah, because we were selling all of our loot at the end of last episode. And let's get some rest. It's now 1.36 a.m. And I guess what we can do, let's let's go ahead and loiter down and see who's out at the out in the inn uh, at 1 in the morning, see if there's any interesting quests, uh, and then we'll go back up and rest for the rest of the night. I saw someone around this corner, actually. We can talk to them. Uh, we should probably save our game before we talk to people as well. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see if there are any quests that the townspeople can give us. Talk to you. Let's see who else there is. The innkeeper often has a quest. We can talk to him and, and ask. Let's see. No, not today. How about you? Or you? Uh, the people in the inn are not very talkative today. These are all doors out, I think. Where are they? Let me see. Okay, they're not. They're not. Oh my goodness, what is going on in here? Uh, well, I'll talk to these two anyway to see if they have a quest for me. Here we go. My dear Nord, I have anger the wrong sort of foe and let my, find my life in danger. I need a bodyguard right now. Will you be my savior? Okay. I think that's, uh, that's fine. Then I employ you from this very second. My things are with me, and this establishment means nothing so long as my pursuer seeks a life. I do know that it is one furious person, the spellcaster of some sort. I am lucky so as to not merit more attention than that. I will stay with you until I know for certain that things have settled with themselves, one way or another. Don't mind me. I'll watch for myself while I'm with you. Be about your ordinary business. Okay. So that's a, a nice, pretty easy quest to do. We can just sort of have her hanging around with us while we go do other things. So we'll keep that going. I'm uh, trying to see if there's any other quests around. <clears throat> if not, I say, I say we go to a guild. It looks like there aren't any more. So... Let's rest for another seven hours or so. It's now eight in the morning, so let's go ahead and head out and about into town and see what there is to do. We may need to loiter a bit longer and wait till 11 if we want to get a quest from a guild. Uh, but let's remind ourselves of where the guilds are here in the Rothgarian Mountains. Now, the Fighters Guild is right over here, up to the northwest. We haven't done a quest for them in quite a while, so I think actually doing something for them may be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what they have to offer. I also wanted to mention that I looked up uh, the dates for Daedra summoning recently. If you'll remember, we've done quite a few of those quests. All right, we, we will have to loiter for another two hours... And it's 10.55, so we'll just walk around for five minutes. Um, yeah, what was I saying? So, Daedra Summoning. Uh, we've done quite a few Daedra Summoning quests, and I, uh, you obviously can't do them unless it's the specific correct day to do them. So I looked up if there were any uh, soon. And I will talk about that and what's going on with Daedra Summoning, I guess, once we actually get this Fighter's Guild quest. All right, so we should be allowed in now. And let's see, I think this is the quest giver. Your inadequacy has been noted by the elders, Titian. They have demoted you. Oh no. So I guess because we haven't uh, we haven't done anything from anything for them in quite a while, we demoted. So that, that's what happens in Daggerfall. If you don't keep up by doing quests, uh, you'll get demoted. So I imagine our reputation or our rank was the was the rank that you get when you're above forty reputation, and now we've dropped below to thirty nine. Well that's pretty sad, but it's gonna be easy to get back up there. All we have to do is to just get a new quest to do. So we'll save the game. And look at what they have to offer. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So all of these quests here are pretty simple quests. They, they always just end up being tracked down this uh, monster and kill them. Now, Lord Kavar, quest part one. That sounds kind of interesting. What is this? Titian, I have an important mission that will require the utmost discretion. 
I can't tell you more unless you agree to help me. What do you say? Yes. An old friend of mine is in grave danger and needs an escort who is handy with a blade and can keep a secret. Naturally, I thought of you. Mordorian Copperton will meet you at ten tonight in the Copperheart residence. He will tell you more when you arrive. I would come with you, but since I am known as his friend, I might lead his enemies to him. Watch your back on this one. Okay, that sounds pretty intriguing. Um, we have nothing more to discuss, Titian. Okay, that sounds pretty intriguing, so let's do that. Now, the only problem is that we have quite a while to blow. We have uh, until ten tonight, so we have like twelve hours uh, to blow. So, what can we do till then? Maybe we can fly our airship around a little bit or something like that. Um, or else we just have to loiter in town for ten hours, which is pretty boring. Um, unfortunately, both of the quests that we got involved just waiting around uh, for something to happen. So let's go to the edge of town and call our airship out, and we'll fly around on that a little bit, and I'll talk about Daedra summoning, and then then we'll loiter, uh, you know, any remaining time that we need to meet up with this individual. That seems like a good plan, uh, because I wanted to talk about what's going on with Daedra summoning anyway. So we, we did actually miss uh, one Daedra summoning day, you know, in, in doing the main quest and other things that I, I thought I, or I had wanted to do. Um... And that is a Daedra summoning quest where the reward is a soul gem, but it's not like any ordinary soul gem. So if you all remember, you use soul gem to make these enchanted items. Uh, do, I have a, do I have a soul gem in my inventory? I don't, but they look like the diamonds. Um, and the Daedra summoning quest gave you a soul gem that was infinitely refillable. So you never have to buy a new soul gem. You could just keep using that over and over again, which is very useful. Um, <clears throat> that would be very useful to us so we don't have to keep buying new soul gems and filling them up. Um, so we did miss that day. But in about a month, there is another Daedra summoning quest. Let me grab a ship first before I talk about this. There's another Daedra summoning quest from the artifact that I'm pretty interested in getting. Uh, so I think we'll do that. So it's in about a month's time. So a few more quests around town and things, and then we can do that one. All right, there's the ship. There it is. And if you're all just turning it, tuning in for the first time, um, just trying to click on the... There we go. This is the airship's mod, if you're very surprised by what this big thing is and you haven't seen it yet before. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to grab onto this thing. And one thing I should not <clears throat> try and remember here is how to use autopilot. I think I remember. I think you go up here and click here. And what that is going to do is automatically adjust the height of the airship <clears throat> so we don't crash into hills. If you all remember... Perhaps you don't. Uh, we crashed into a hill at one point and our airship got stuck and that was not a pleasant experience. So it's important to keep autopilot on when you're flying this thing. <clears throat> Let's see if this works as an example. I was, I was feeling like I was getting dangerously close to that one, but it, it, it set us on course pretty quickly. And I have to say, Daggerfall is looking pretty beautiful with distant terrain on and also the... Uh, just general landscape graphics improvements. I don't think Trees of Daggerfall is on in this region. I think those are 2D trees. You can still see for some lag, though, when using this. <clears throat> um, so, as I was saying, there's one more Daedra Summoning quest in the near future, but other than that, most of the other Daedra Summoning quests I'm interested in aren't on for quite some time. Um, so I, I'm hoping that we'll, you know, make it to that time, you know, before finishing the main quest. And have time to do some of those Daedra Summoning quests. I'm sure we will. I mean, there's no hard, fast date on when we have to end this Let's Play. Uh, although it's something you know, I've been thinking about since we have been on for quite a, a lot of episodes now. I, we're certainly going to get to episode 100. Um, but my plan is essentially to make sure I've done almost everything I want to do in Showcase in the game before I end things off. And, and sort of will end things off, I think, with the, you know, finishing the main quest. And is this a... this is meant to be a town, right? I guess it's just not loading in. Wait, what is this right here? Hold on, let's, let's pause the ship here. This is meant to be Gothwark, but I... You, you, it's like glitched out. You can't see any of the... Uh, you can't see any of the houses, which is quite weird. Alright, well, I'm gonna just go ahead and ignore that for now, and we'll head over in this direction. What time is it? Let's check. Can I actually check the time? Let's head out. 11.48 uh, a.m. Yeah, so this actually doesn't take much time to do because you, you'd hope that, you know, the time gets adjusted while you're in the ship, but that's actually not what happens. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, we got the ship stuck by accident. I think what happened was when I, when you exit and then re-enter steering the ship, it turns autopilot off. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately. Oh wait, never mind. Hold on, let's, let's grab onto the ship. Oh, looks like it's fixing itself. Okay, maybe autopilot was actually on in it. It was just making a small mistake there. So this is, this ship is something we ought to utilize more often when traveling around in local regions because it is kind of fun to travel using this rather than using uh, fast travel. I mean, one of the mods I always wished I had for this Let's Play was tedious travel. You come to the wrong door, sadly. You'll be paying with your blood. So... Okay, the game froze there for a little bit, but we are back now. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this. If you saw that Warm Ashes encounter, that obviously is going to spawn on the ground. So Warm Ashes encounters don't really work too well with the airships mod. Um, let me grab back onto this. Uh, one thing about tedious travels, though, that I did want to mention is that I, I really wanted to use it for the playthrough, but unfortunately it just doesn't, it isn't viable with all the graphics mods that I have installed. My system isn't good enough to run both the graphics mods and tedious travels. Um, are we stuck in one spot? Are we not moving here? Or are we just so far out that you can't tell? Okay, I guess, we just, I guess we're just so far out that you can't tell. Um, <clears throat> but that is something I do hope to use in a future playthrough of the game. Anyways, I think we have loitered around on the ship long enough. I thought this might be something fun to do in the meantime, but it doesn't really take up time as much as we want it. So I don't think we have any other choice, really, other than to just wait out the time for that quest to be ready. So I believe what we need to do here is... How do I get the, the menu up for this? Because I, I want to toggle the ropes. Here we go, toggle ropes. And that should make the ropes appear. I think they should, at least. been a little while since I've used this, so bear with me as I remind myself of how it works. Oh, crap. Did I jump off by accident? Oh, no. Uh, I'm just trying to cast Levitate here so we don't die. And now the, the ship is invisible, but I'm moving around like I'm still in it. What is going on? A small child of indeterminate gender hands you a note and runs away before you have a chance to react. While wow, the game is really glitched out now. <laughs> Somehow the, uh, okay, <laughs> okay, now I'm outside of the world, right, we definitely, uh, we definitely messed the game up a little bit, not gonna lie. Is there any way to cancel all of this, though? Please get me out of here. Oh, wait, I can't actually travel now. Okay, let's travel back to Gothwark and hope that fixes things. Oh, that's not working at all. And what in the world is going on? Uh, well, this has been very interesting, I have to say, everyone. I think I might need to reload the save, though, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, the airship spawn is very cool, but it's a bit finicky. You can see what happens. Uh, I I've never had something happen like this. I know this, this uh, clipping out of walls things happens quite a lot in classic Daggerfall, but Unity is relatively unglitchy. But of course, when you install all these mods, you can make things like this happen. Uh, so this has certainly been a pretty fun detour here, uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and load our save and get that quest uh, that we're, that looks in pretty interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that quest again. It sounds like we're going to get basically the, we get the same quest, just a different residence. The name may be different too. Um... So what we're going to do this time is just go ahead and rest until it's time to do that quest. I do uh, apologize that the airships mod didn't work quite as intended and we had to reload the save, but it's okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and go rest and actually do a proper quest now rather than messing around. Uh, so let's head into this inn. Is this the inn that we have a room at? I think the Devil's Chasm is an inn that we have a room at. It doesn't really matter though because we're a knight so we get free rooms everywhere. Uh, so we need to rest 
nine hours? Well, we'll rest for eight hours. Or I think actually, no, a little bit more, like 10 or 11 hours. We'll see what this gets us to. Seven, so we'll rest for another two hours. And now it's 9.07, uh, so I think we'll now head over to the Ashing Residence, wherever that is. Though I'm now realizing that I should have gotten the Ashing Residence marked on my map before I did all that resting. That's okay, though, because we can perhaps talk to the people in here and get them to mark it on the map. So, let's talk. Those infernal orcs have stolen my little cousin and our so-called protectors. The fighters go, refuse to take me seriously. Dristable Hawkfield is a well-dressed boy, not worthy of their attention, but he's all I have. Please get Nord, will you help me? Well, unfortunately, I'm in the middle of two quests right now, so uh, uh, I, I don't want to turn this down, um, but I think we might have to. Unless it's possible we could do, finish all three of these quests in the time allotted. Uh, you know what? Let's be ambitious. Let, let's try doing this, too. We won't turn anyone down right now. I'm feeling in a generous mood. Thank you, thank you. I can give you 434 gold pieces if you find Tristville Hawking. That's all I have. Now, these orcs took him are the ones camped out in Stinking Sekthoff. I need to know whether Tristville Hawkfield is all right in 75 days, or I'll send someone else. Please do not reduce me to that. Stendar, go with you, Titian. Okay, so 75 days is plenty of time, I think. Um, can you please tell me where the Ashen Resonance is? So this person should mark it on our map if we just keep asking. Southeast... Well, maybe they won't mark it on my map because we need to be outside for them to do it. At least we know it's southeast. Southeast is not very specific at all, though. That is not very helpful. I guess our best hope now is to find a guard walking around at night. Since guards walk around at night with the villager immersion overhaul and ask them. Otherwise, we might need to reload the save for a third time. Because uh, I really was not thinking when I... Uh, when I chose to rest without figuring out where the Ashing Residence is first. So we know it's in this area somewhere. I'm just trying to look around for a guard who can potentially direct us there. Because no villagers will be out, but guards do occasionally wander Daggerfall. Uh, or, I guess we're not in Daggerfall anymore. They do wander the streets of towns at night in the Villager Immersion Overhaul, which we do, I believe, have on. But looking around, I am not seeing any sign of a guard. Which is making me very not optimistic about the chances of us finding this place. Oh boy, alright, let's just reload the save for a third time and do it properly this time. Okay, everyone. Third time is the charm, I swear. Alright. So, this time it's M Morgabith Copperston in the Buck Buckingfield residence. Okay. So, what we're actually going to do is figure out where the Buckingfield residence is first. And then we will wait out the time. Uh, so I need to know about General the Buckingfield Residence. Okay, perfect. Got it mar marked on my map right away. It is all the way to the southeast, so let's head over in that direction. Interestingly enough, no real sign uh, in the time walking around about whatever the quest involving uh, this lady that we have accompanying us right here is. I assume that someone's going to pop out and try to attack us at some point. And once we kill them, then that will be the end of that quest. But I could not say for certain. Uh, let's keep going here. So it's right to the east. I believe it's this house right here. Let's check. Yeah, it's this small house right here. Okay. So we can just go ahead in here and wait until 10. So we will save the game before we actually do that. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell which door is the door to the exit, which door is not, because they look kind of similar. Uh, so I guess we just wait in here for... Oh, I did not mean to do that. We'll just loiter for 10 hours. Oh, nine hours is our limit, apparently. In classic Daggerfall, you could only loiter for three hours at a time. Uh, which was very annoying. Luckily with Unity, you can change that. So, I'm going to save the game. Because I'm not sure whether we need to be here exactly at 10, or if we're here 15 minutes late, that will be a problem, but let's see. I assume this is the person in question, let's see. You're a Titian? 
Bedister Ashton described you well. I am Morgabith Copperston. We must proceed to Sentinel at once. I can tell you no more, except that the enemies of Queen Akarithi would give too much would give much to stop us. Okay, interesting. So this is this is intriguing for sure. So we gotta go to Sentinel, and luckily uh, that's that's quite a far distance from here, of course. Let's see. Morgabith Copperston gasps gasps. And you hear a or you see you turn to see a feathered shaft protruding from her chest. As she sinks to her knees, she slips a letter into your hand and murmurs. Lord Kavar is a traitor to Sentinel. You must get this to Queen Akarithi. Morgabith Copperston is dead. Okay. Interesting. So, this lady is assassinated, and uh, we need to get to Queen Akarithi right away. And uh, Queen Akarithi, I believe, is in Sentinel, I suppose? So, let's head to Sentinel now. <clears throat> we'll check out the note that she gave us. My dear Edwil Garriston, I'm pleased, pleased to hear of your progress in training my forces at the ruins of Buckingwing Manor. I will send more money as soon as I can raise it, as I can raise it, as you will need to hire more troops if we are, if we hope to defeat Queen Akarithi. You are surely correct that going into open battle against her is a lost cause, but I believe that even for coup de, de main against the castle itself, we will need more men. We can discuss the matter further in person when I arrive at the ruins of Buckingwing Manor in a few weeks. If you need to reach me in the meantime, I am staying in the palace at Mershire. Mershire. If all goes well, we may soon have a new ally. Once the situation here is proceeding smoothly again, I must return to Sentinel to pay my respects, perhaps my final respects, to our dear queen. Her agents have been dogging my steps lately, so I shall allay her suspicions by a show of fawning subservience which she so appreciates. Keep me informed of your progress. Most sincerely, Lord Caver Mershire. Okay, interesting. So I... I wonder here, do we have to go to Sentinel first, or can we go get rid of this traitor first? Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll go to Sentinel first, and we can always reload the save if need be. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, what's this? Who is this? Is this the assassin that killed... Uh... Holy crap, we have a lot, of, a lot of people after us, actually. Hold on, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it's time to get equipped with our... Uh... Our... Uh armor and weapons here for this particular fight. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on, too, because I cannot see anything. <clears throat> and I think it's actually a good time to use this. We'll heal ourselves up. For some reason, this person's running away. Maybe because they saw us kill their whole group. I assume that was, yeah, this is the group of assassins that killed uh, the, the person we were escorting, not... Uh, the person for this other secondary quest this bodyguard quest now it's interesting because this girl came with us to stay safe and i have to say uh she may have put herself in more danger by hanging out with us and following us on our journeys because whoever's after her is probably not as dangerous as these people who are after uh queen akarithi so let's transfer all of this loot we got into our wagon here oh i didn't mean to put everything in there but that's all right i should pull out the daedric daikatana because we may want to switch out to that We'll throw all the ingredients in, too. And then we will get the rest of the loot. And throw it into our wagon. Oh, again, I did not mean to throw the Daedric Daikatana in there. Let's pull that back out. Okay. Nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and head to Sentinel now. I think that's everything that's enchanted. Is it? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Need to remove that as well, and then... I think that's everything, but I'm not sure why we still have... Okay, now we're good. Uh, we'll just throw back on our normal Daikatana, and let's save the game and then head to Sentinel and see if that's the right first location to go to. Uh, if not, we can reload the save and go kill this person first. So off we go to Sentinel. Where is that at? That's going to be all the way down here. Let's find the capital. And if we take a boat there, yeah, if we take a boat, it actually shouldn't take too long. Only seven days. I'm not well. Okay, so it looks like we have some disease of some sort. Let's see. It says I'm healthy, though. Strange. Um, we'll just try cure disease anyway. We'll also try cure poison. And then we'll see what happens if we head to Sentinel. Okay, perfect. You sense something moving. Uh-oh. What's moving? 
I'm looking out. <laughs> I am a little bit worried. Alright, I'm going to cautiously just scale these walls because I'm not seeing any clear enemy. But scaling the walls is not very successful for us. Okay, why are we failing so hard to climb these walls? Okay, there we go. We actually managed to make it up here. And let's sprint our way over to the queen and warn her that uh, there is a coup being planned at this very moment. This quest so far is very intriguing. You know, a lot of these uh, generated quests usually don't have a lot of detail on them, but this one seems quite promising so far. So we have been here before many times for the main quest line. And I do believe that I remember where Queen Akarithi is. Uh, she is all the way in the back of Sentinel. I think we have to head over here. Oh no, that's not it. This is where we have to head. If we head up here, this will bring us to the Queen's chambers. Not sure why she keeps her chambers in the very back of the castle, but so be it. Here is Queen Akarithi, so let's save the game and then we will talk to her. So you give the treasonous letter to Queen Akarithi. Oh, oh, interesting. So you don't have to do it. I guess we'll try doing it and see what happens. Queen Akarithi opens the letter and reads it. Her face darkens with anger. There can be no doubt. This is his personal seal and signature. Guards, go to the Great Hall and seize Lord Kavar at once and throw him in the dungeon. She turns to you. You alerted me to a grave threat to the realm. Please accept my sincere thanks as well as this 748 gold. Is that the end of the, the quest? I suppose that it is. That's a little bit... Uh, that's a little bit anticlimactic, I guess. I mean, um, I guess what I could have alternatively done is, is went and actually tried to track these people down. Let's see what the, my, the, the log said again. You know, what we'll do is we'll save the game, and let's try alternatively hunting down this person first, and then going to, to Queen Akarithi and see what happens in that case, just for fun. So we'll save the game as 857, and let's go ahead and load our save back here, and try tracking down the, the traitors first. Um, okay. So, apparently... Let's see, where is the note? Mershire. So apparently the f he's training his forces at the ruins of Buckingwing Manor, but right now uh, he's at Bershire, or Mershire. So let's head to, to Mershire first and kill him, and then maybe we can even head to the ruins and uh, kill his people. I, I have to cure disease and cure poison here real quick because I know that we were infected at this time in the save. So let's head over to Mershire. Uh, just on foot. You sense something moving. I again assume that that is the quest for this girl who's being hunted down by assassins. But there's no sign of, of anything around at the moment. I assume we're being followed or something. Um, for now, we need to find where this person's staying. So let's ask about that. Uh, it's going to be, let's see, General? The palace, maybe, is where uh, he's staying? I'm not sure. People. Lord Kavar, where is he? Yeah, it's the palace. Okay. Oh, the palace is right here. That's very convenient. Let's get this guy. Um, so, Lord Kavar, I don't know what he looks like, but he's going to be somewhere in here, that's for sure. We just need to track him down. I'm not sure if that is him. Sorry, I can't really, uh, help you out right now, sir. I'm in the middle of a pretty involved quest. I don't think that's going to be him either. He may be upstairs. I'm not sure if he's going to appear as just an immediately hostile NPC or one that we can actually talk to before we fight him. Let's find out. 
not you. Okay, I'm not seeing any sign of him. That's obviously not going to be him. Uh, Alright, let's go back downstairs, I guess. He must be somewhere down here. Yeah, but that's not him either. Where in the world are you, Lord Kavar? He's around here in Palace. Is this him? Do you give the treasonous letter to Lord Kavar? Sorry for this little abrupt transition and, and pausing uh, the episode there at that pivotal moment in the quest. A uh, little bit of a cliffhanger, but I decided to end uh, the episode right there. Normally, I obviously salmon any episode while doing it, but in this case, the Lord Kavar quest ended up being a lot more intricate and took a lot more time than I thought it would be. So I decided to divide it up into two episodes rather than just having it be one long big episode. So we're going to end the episode on that cliffhanger, and then next episode will be the episode where I wrap up the rest of that quest. So yeah, Novus is not normally how I do the end of episode uh, transitions, but that's going to be it. So thank you all for watching, and next time we'll resume exactly where we left off and see what happens after we decide or decide not to give the note to Lord Kavar.